Hi, and welcome to this video about using Omega T2 Expert TM Access for specific files and time ranges using two very useful scripts. Alright, let's begin with exporting separate files. Suppose I have a project with multiple files and I want to create a file just for for one particular file and uh, the good thing is now that we have this option under project create current translated document so I can use it to create just this document Omega T created just this translated document however Omega T did not create a separate TMX a translation memory for that particular file and I might need this file for example if I want to do quality assurance in a separate QA program and I do not want to do the this procedure on the entire project I just want a TMX for a particular file so this is how I can generate such file I go to tools scripting write cell files to TMX Groovy written by Kosovansov and of course I click run to run the script the script provides a window where I can select particular files and uh, please note that the current limitation is that you can only select files from one folder at a time so you can only run a script on files from one folder so in this folder I select the files that I need for example file number 3 or I can select all of them doesn't matter okay so file number 3 open so the script is running yes here we go so this is the message and the the path to the file and I can copy this path right here the script saves this file right into the project root and it's called selected files and the date and time of the file and I can open it and it's a simple TMX of course here we have the file name just for reference and it only includes those 180 segments from the particular file that I chose to export. Pretty simple. The second export function is exporting translations for a specific time range. And there are at least two very common scenarios when you need this. The first one is a lot of 100% matches that you do not need to check. So the client asks you not to check 100% matches and um, maybe it's 50% of your project so you translated another another 50% of the project and now you need to do quality assurance on just that 50% so how do you generate a TMX file for quality assurance that includes only those 50% you simply give the script the time that you worked on this 50% and you export just this 50% the second scenario is when you you basically completed a project but then you spent like two hours finalizing it and you do not want to run quality assurance on their entire project again you just want to check the changes that you made during those several hours so and again you can export only the segments that you worked on during those last hours alright let's do it so again I go to tools scripting this script is called write new trans to tmx GUI groovy here in the script we have an instruction that says that prescribes the format of the time that I need to give and it also says that if nothing is provided the script will look only for those translations that are newer than one day and this is the format expected by the script and so I'm going to extract translations 
for the last two months. Okay, I'm going to copy it. And this is where I paste it in the script right here. So in the def new date option here. And then I yeah, click run. Well, it's <clears throat> While the script is running, you can actually follow it by looking at the file that it is creating and uh, the size of this file will be changing, like here. So right now the script is working on this file. And again, as with the, just like the particular, just like the expert for the particular file, this expert is saved right into the root folder of the project. So the process still continues. Upon completion, the script gives me this message that this number of translation units were written to this file. Okay, close it. And when I open this file, so it's a, in this case it's a large file that contains only those translation units that were translated after, in my case, April 21, so after the date and time that I entered in the script. And one final note is about selecting files. You can actually sel also select files to export translations from for this script as well. And uh, in the beginning of the file, there is a short instruction about how to do it. You need to select, you need to set the select files options, select files option to yes. So basically you would go to down to select files and put yes. And when you run the script, it now also asks you to select files first. So it also limits expert to specific files in addition to specific time range. That's it. Thank you for watching and please share the link to the blog post that is posted under this video if you feel that it helped you.